Hi, I'm Chirag Sapra. I'll be giving a stock pitch on Gap Inc. Gap is one of the leading companies in the US apparel industry in terms of market share. Consumers want new styles and merchandise in the stores quickly and at an affordable price, trend known as fast fashion. Let's do a past trend analysis for Gap. From 2004 to 2010, CFROI level was more than cost of capital. So ideally, companies should have reinvested in asset growth. But what we see from the chart is just the opposite. There was a negative growth in assets that went down till minus 10%. Similarly, in 2011, CFROI level was less than cost of capital. Again, instead of consolidating its assets, company adopted the wrong strategy of investing heavily in asset growth. All this led to a decline in the shareholder return, as can be seen from the TSR chart. The shareholder returns since 2011 have been mainly due to the $4.25 billion stock repurchase program by Gap and the dividends that were paid using debt, a strategy not sustainable in the long run. Weak corporate performance of Gap has been mainly due to declining asset turns since 2001, mainly because of very low and volatile sales growth ranging between minus 10 to plus 10%. A comparative analysis with its close competitor TJX as well as the sector clearly validates CAP's poor performance in terms of CFROI, shareholder return as well as sales. Let's talk about the risks now. GAP's poor credit position is certainly going to affect its borrowing costs in future. Raw material costs are expected to go up in 2012-2013. Due to changing currency policies and wage increases in China, GAP needs to reconsider its sourcing. As 98% of GAP's vendors are based abroad, it makes GAP incapable of dealing with trends like fast fashion, unlike brands like Zara. Also, the uncertainty regarding fiscal cliff is a big risk to the sales. Compared to the current market price of $31.75, GAP is overvalued as its hold warranted price is $25.42. Although GAP is relatively cheap according to PE multiple, but it is slightly expensive to industry and its median value when compared using economic PE. After closely analyzing the past trends and the future prospects for the firm, along with considering the risks involved, there is a potential 20% downside. My recommendation would be to sell the stock. These are the sources and references. Thank you.